Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Empowering Industry Podcast. I'm your host, Charlie Matthews, and I'm so glad to be able to join you today and bring a special guest. Uh, Scott McKenzie, you have been just a highlight of my podcast arena. I think uh, just being on your podcast was such an honor, but listening to it and really, I I learned something every single time. So I'm going to start here by letting you introduce yourself, Scott, to our audience. Wow, I, I don't know if I can add to that. That's exciting. We should just wrap it up right there. And 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 no, it's uh it's an honor, an absolute honor to to be on your podcast. How about them apples? Yeah, um, um I got in podcasting. I got into sort of as a result of uh, trying to create a marketing platform for my other company. It was just a way of being able to communicate and relate to prospects and companies from a human level, because that's where everything's at. I mean, it's the technology is the technology and so on and so forth. It's always that human interaction that I've always been very intrigued with. And um, so as a result of that, I started uh, just saying, hey, I got a podcast, you're going to be on it, that type of, and that's how it sort of started. I, I have an industrial background. I took a company public, and then I retired, and then I started another company, and then I sold that. And and I just sort of carried on with uh, doing podcasts, doing videos, uh, broadcasting on site at a lot of these conferences and highlighting and talking to just industry leaders because it's pretty doggone exciting out there right now. And so I geek out on all of this stuff that's taking place within industry, a lot of technology that's happening, a lot of innovation, a lot of big thinking. That's how it sort of evolved. And now I get to talk to you, Charlie, and, and others about what's going on there, too. So it's, it's all yeah, good. So it's hard for me to talk about myself, but go ahead. I know. Well, I'm going to help I'm, because I am such a fan. So Industrial Talk Podcast, uh, mm-hmm. that's the one. And you would always have the perfect branding, uh, which, I mean, you talk about being, you know, from the industry, um, the passion for B2B, and you you really do give those tools in every single episode of how to be a better marketer, regardless if that's the topic or not, you are putting that out there. And I have just picked up so much, uh, just learning from you um, and watching how you perform a podcast and, and even the back end, you have all the systems set up to make it easy. And so I'm curious, like it, Were you in marketing for a while, building that um, with your own business? Like, or did did you teach yourself? Like, how did you get all of these processes in place? Uh, I taught myself. Uh, uh, I'm lazy. And there's a lot of things that I just don't like to have a conversation. One being, uh, you learn real quickly when you're saying, hey, you want to be on the podcast? And somebody says, yeah, I'll be on the podcast. What days work for you? And yeah. then my heart sinks. And then I was like, oh, I can do it at Thursday between 12, 15 and maybe, maybe one, maybe. But I got this. And then you have this whole other conversation. So my so much time saved. So it's, it's just here jump on here's my calendar jump on my calendar find a date and time that works and everything's just sort of automated and it has been uh very good the other thing is um because it's about the individual it's about the company it's about what they are doing it's always other focused and and uh celebrating what they do and how they are changing the world and that's how i sort of look at every conversation is that um I created a landing page and I have a form and you fill out the form. And then that form, it says, what's, what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about this. Okay, great. And what are the, what's the problem? Well, people are struggling here. And then what are the, what are the solutions? And then what are the roadblocks done? That's it. And all I have to do because I'm lazy, but I I geek out on this stuff. Because you're good. It's over because you're good. But I just sort of look at it going, so you think digital transformation is the way to go. That's what you want to do right there. I have it on your form. And they say, yeah, that's it. And everybody's so comfortable with it, right? Now, it's different when it comes to uh, uh, doing these on-site type of things. So how I deal with that is that I find the speakers who have a specific topic. And so that's not, I'm not catching them off guard. It's like, why are you here? Well, I'm speaking on this topic. You're speaking on that topic. And it just keeps on and everybody, but again, it's the human side. And if I create friction in our interaction, then, then we don't get the message out. Nobody wants to participate and it, and, and it doesn't work. 
So, so I wanted to ask you that because I yeah. think it's important for our listeners, our marketers out there who are yeah. trying to do this for their own manufacturing companies, yeah. right? That you can create content and there are, you know, we're, we're talking about um, creating content and who are those creators out there? Um, and we'll get into a little more details about that in a yeah. minute, but what we're trying to do is say, okay, this is how you do it. And here's the, here are the steps. These are the, the tricks of the trade uh, that we've learned to make this more efficient process. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, the, the top um, category or top uh, vision is, hey, you know, we want to share your story. It's important. All the things that you are doing out there of making changes in the world, uh, it needs to be told and we need to share that story. And you personally, you know, manufacturers out there or even engineering or end users, you have a story to tell. And so how can we make that uh, more possible for everyone? And you're doing that through the podcast. Um, I'm doing that through our podcast. Let's collectively figure out how to make this um, manufacturing industrial world share their stories because we we are all passionate about that. We we have to, and I, I think it's uh, strategic for companies to be able to paint that picture. I believe, me personally, I truly believe uh, manufacturers, uh, people of the industry, they're changing the world. You are. They are. That is worth celebrating, that is worth amplifying, and it is important to tell that story. It is a human conversation. You're not going to listen to me if I'm talking about this device, and this device takes this data and does this and does that, and it transforms it this way. Nobody's going to listen to that. It's, they'll say, yeah, I got it. It's the 10. But they will listen to the human component associated with so I was here and I did this and I decided I needed this problem to be solved. And so I was figuring it out. And then I came up with this. That's where the, the message is because you are truly amplifying that message to help people succeed. That's important. You're helping people to solve a problem, a pain point. That's important. And then you're also providing a network or a solution a company that provides employment, whatever it might be. There is so much that, that can be, industry is just humans. That's what it is. And, and unless we recognize the fact that that is the story that needs to be told, we're going to have a problem bringing in new talent because the way we do it today sometimes isn't cutting it. And we have real problems there, right? And you need to, you need to recognize that your story is important and to be able to make it compelling and sort of entertaining you got to sort of put yourself out there a little bit that it'll will it will attract and it will bring in new people it, it, we have to do it manufacturing we've got a messaging problem sometimes we yeah, just absolutely do. and I, I think that that uh, bringing us together uh, I, know, I know I was really excited to uh, be on your podcast. Thank you for being on ours. And now we get to have this chance of coming at a, an event, a trade show together. Um, IMTS is going to be in Chicago in September. Yes. And we are going to have this creators lounge where we are going to be talking with the very best creators out there in our space. Yes. And I am excited to join you with that. Um, and, and I think it's part of that is to Yes, the community, the, the community of creators, whether it's podcasts or posts or, you know, articles, et cetera. What are these people in our space creating and, and bringing them to the lounge and getting to know them and getting to share their technology and their stories? Uh, I'm just really excited about that. And I'm really glad that I got, you know, get another chance to um, engage and, and, and collaborate with you, uh, because I think that you are one of those, you know, leaders, the, throughout all of this time that you've been, you know, dabbling in all these areas. And now we're in podcasting world yeah. and you've got so much to share for us. It's, it's exciting to know that we're going to be broadcasting from IMTS. That's one cool. Very cool. We got a cool creatives lounge. And if you had a picture of it, it's cool too. Yeah. And it's all things cool. Right. And I mean, it, it does, it elevates the conversation in a way that, that uh, needs to be elevated. Right. And, and make it fun and and celebrate these individuals accordingly because they they are doing things. You, if you think that you're just sort of hanging around the water cooler and you're talking about new things, that that's where the energy is. And there's this 
there's this velocity that exists out there and that's what is going to be captured at this uh, imts the creators creative lounge. creators yes. lounge yes the lounge sounds so coffee, sounds right? so cool like, like, <laughs> yeah, i think you yeah. said it and by the way cool. just grab a little coffee over here and as you sit relax but but it's it's it, it, the sooner people begin to recognize and i mean first we make it simple first we 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 tell and amplify the story and and recognize that many of the people within manufacturing and within industry are are truly helping people it's a noble purpose of what's taking place and 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 they have to they have to embrace it it's like yeah yeah i'm not just digging a ditch over here i'm digging a ditch with purpose right and that to me is important because you are they are they're they're heroes in my my world they are they're Absolutely. heroes and and you just made me kind of you you did the you know, the powerful stance there and it's like we are industry you know we are industry right it's here so we're humans right there baby That's it's not me it's we right we. and and it's it's so true because it, it it's just this is like anything else there charlie it, we, we we're on a journey we're all on a journey and i think that it's it's imperative within manufacturing that we we continuously educate and of course you can continuously educate there's plenty of stuff out there you can read and you can do it but educate but the the real secret sauce is that collaboration i don't think we have me alone and, and this is why this is such a, a, a this collaborative type of thing that we're doing at IMTS is so important, is that I don't think we have the, the answers just one person. It requires this collaboration mindset to be able to bring about real solutions to real challenges that manufacturers and others are are addressing or have to figure out how to address. It, it's just a it's just the collaboration is just got to happen if you don't educate then you're not collaborating and you're definitely not in, uh, innovating and those are the three components that we are talking about you got to do absolutely it. absolutely and I, I feel like that innovation piece being at an event around the people and engaging it, it's something we really have to do and get back at doing so oh, that we can yeah. um so so tell me well, i want to ask you one more thing and yep. um Ask Just too. if you had advice to give somebody in our yeah. industry, yep. what would that be? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, there's a there's a, a number of things. But first off, one, if 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 it was me and I'm Scott Manufacturer, I would constantly me have a have a platform that celebrates my customers and the industry itself, and I have to paint a a very a collaborative type of culture so that I can make sure that I also attract. And we, there's just, there's just so much that we've got to do and you've got to think about that human component. So my recommendation, you, you, you need to get out and you need to be human and you need to do it. And you, and you gotta, you, you can't be self-conscious. Don't, don't, don't be self-conscious. Just we're human be beings. Bold. We make mistakes dogs walk behind us. It, it just is now. And I think that that was the beauty of uh, the pandemic outside of the pain. Got that. No, I'm not going to talk about it, but it, it shed light on people that are, Oh, we're really human. Oh, that's right. no, that's good. So it just don't take yourself so seriously. Just celebrate, man. Just, just to highlight these, these opportunities. There's so many ways of being engaged. So you got to do it. Got to do it. Well, thank you, Scott. I, again, I told you, uh, you're going to give just the most energy. Well, I know that you've been, people tell you that all the time, your energy is contagious and uh, just the message and the help, the, the resources that people need to get this done um, is clear when, when talking to you. So um, don't leave. I'm, I, I want to, you know, connect with you. I want to yeah. be able to, and I will do this through our yeah. you know show notes, connect everybody with your podcast, sure. and how to get in touch with you. Um, but thank you for being here so much. Absolute honor. I, I really appreciate it. And it's rare that I'm on the the answer question side of this. And I, and I well, you did great. You absolutely did <laughs> I <know>. great. <laughs> I yeah, it's not a it's not a natural thing for me. I it just is. It's just like a, we we a, like to we like to be the curious one getting that information. Yeah, the uh, selfish sure. one. I want I want to learn more. Yeah, yeah come yeah. learn with me, man. And you know that's that's the how I always look at it. Come learn with me. I 
it, and it's and it is it's so funny when you when somebody talks to you about something you go no way no way that you could do that now yeah That's oh right. no way you get all excited about it but anyway it was it was a complete honor there charlie thank you very much man well awesome uh, thank I you so it. much for being here and we'll connect again soon oh yeah we will we'll see you in imts okay um